Hey guys, it's your girl Pixie. I'm back with another video. Um, today's topic is going to be about my trip back home from Philadelphia, from Atlanta. Well, to Philadelphia, from Atlanta. Uh, yo, I finally made it back home. I'm home. Um, I left Atlanta. I had to get a Greyhound. I left Atlanta at 7 o'clock um, Monday night, 8 o'clock Monday night. And I didn't get home until yesterday, um, about 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, if you looked at my video, previous video, then you can see that I, me and my friends, we basically, well, friends, we basically went um, on a trip to Atlanta. We supposed to be going to make money, basically. And the whole time, my friend kept leaving us to um, keep going with this guy or whatever. And it was just like, she obviously had an agenda and she could have said that instead of wasting my time. So she basically was leaving us on a back burner the whole trip. Um, this is my fault. Um, the girl used to be my roommate. Um, in the past, she stole $400 from me. She did replace it, but she tried to lie and tell me that some guy that she was dealing with um, took it. Um, he didn't, I was in Jersey. I, she knew I wasn't going to be back for a couple days. He didn't know that. Why would he just go in my room? The place where I had the money at, you had to search, kind of be looking for it. To, so you was in there for a while. You was in my room looking for something. Um, she tried to lie and say he blocked her, but she probably blocked him and couldn't pull up his page. So I guess that's my fault for even Brent going out, even trusting the bitch again. Like I said, she did replace the money, but it's just still a principle. And I just... I, one thing I did learn about my dancing shit, as far as me dancing again, I will never put another bitch on. I'll give y'all a little bit of information, but y'all can't go with me. Y'all can't. If y'all don't know nothing, I, I'm cool. Uh, I better. I work better by myself. All my life, I've been by myself. I've been taking care of bills by myself. I've been taking care of my home by myself. And every time I let somebody in, they fuck me over. So I, I don't mean to be negative, but when it comes to like my money and my business, I will never trust nobody again um this is not just one time this is not two times this is over and over again i told you my dance partner broke my pole and just i just wouldn't do business with nobody i'll book bitches like you know we going to a party it's a party you know i need extra girls i'll be on that type time as far as you going to the club with me and us being business partners and dividing our money and all that I, i'm cool like never again i'm good um i know what i need to do i know what i came here to do um, I told you I cut my trip with them early. I went to my aunt house and, you know, after coming home, going to the Greyhound, get like on the way home, I seen like two or three trip clubs that wasn't far from my aunt house. And I am going to make another trip out there. Now I know what to do. Now I know where to go. It wasn't a complete waste of a trip because, you know, I I got to see my aunt. My aunt's the only person who's been checking on me since my mom died. I always looked up to her. I got some real good insight from her. I was able to talk to her about stuff that I could never even talk to my mom about. So it wasn't a complete waste of trip. But the shit was dramatic, um, unfortunately. But let me get into the real, the real tea, what really happened on this trip. So, like I told y'all, um, the Greyhound ride was about 20 hours because um, of the stops and stuff. It, the trip, the, the the bus ride really wasn't that bad. You know, we, we stopped in a couple places in um, Georgia and then, you know, North Carolina and South Carolina is like the longest states to get through. We went through Georgia. Um, we went through Baltimore. We went through um, Washington, D.C. Um... The bus ride wasn't bad. I got to sleep. I got to do some research on old school hip hop. You know, um, I don't know if you guys are on Netflix, but hip hop evolution, um, how hip hop came out. I was watching that most of my time. And I was watching like, you know, my bitch, Britney Spears. I was watching like, you know, a documentary on her. So overall, like the bus ride really wasn't that bad. But here's what fucks me up. We gets to Philly. And of course, they don't got my fucking luggage. I had one bag, I had a carry-on bag, and I had a fucking suitcase. I got the carry-on bag, but all my stripper shit is gone. All my dance outfits is gone. Like, I had like 30 outfits, about 30 outfits. I took like 10 of them with me. But then I bought three new outfits that never got a touch before we went on a the trip. They're gone. I bought five pair of dance shoes with me. They're gone. Um, I still got a lot of dance shoes. I still got a lot of dance outfits because I invested in myself, but... 
a nice little amount of my shit is going. New shit that I bought is going. Um, my makeup, my hair products, my scrunchies, my eyelashes, um, my fucking makeup that I, I don't wear makeup like that, but I do wear it to go to the club. My expensive Sephora makeup is fucking going. All my glitter, all my fucking curling shit, every shampoo, conditioner, um, shit is going. Um, my Chuck Tellers are fucking gone. Um, my sneakers is the only thing that really went missing. I'm so glad I put my fucking Uggs on because that would have been fucking going too. Um, you know, obviously when I first got off the bus, I was angry. I was banging on the bus. I was cussing them out like, yo, why would y'all let that happen? They made me file a report and told me to keep calling the all the planes and stops I got off at. I'm not going to do that because they ain't going to do nothing but make me mad. That shit is going. I just pray that a young girl, somebody who really, really needs that and needs an escape and is really going through a lot of shit, I really hope that somebody who's going through something finds that. I just pray to God that somebody who really, really needs that shit got it. Um, I'm just going to start over. Like I said, I still got outfits. I still got shoes. It is what it is. None of my credit cards was gone. I made it home safe. I was upset at first. I'm kind of over it. I came home. I switched some furniture around. Got some shit off my mind. Um, got a glass of wine. So overall, like, unfortunately, um, uh, that happened to me. But it is what it is. Um, I should never went out with them bitches, especially girls who don't know what they doing. Like, it's, it's okay to teach females what they got to do, and it's okay to, like, put them on and even, like, to bring them somewhere in, in a familiar zone. But, like, tr to travel with bitches who don't got, like, you you got to really trust the motherfuckers you go on a trip with. And, obviously, they could not be trusted. The other girl, she was fine. Like, the girl who came along was fine, but she didn't have no money, so she kind of had to go along with the girl. She felt the same way I felt, but she had to go along with the girl because, you know, she kind of came out there broke. Um, I would never let somebody, I would never give somebody that much power, um, to dictate my trip. Um, next time I go on a trip with somebody, I would definitely do my own research. And I thank God, I mean, obviously I had the money, bring your own money. Cause you never know what would happen with bitches. Cause they fucking grimy. And, um, you know, just, just prepare yourself for some bullshit. You feel me? If you got to get a rental car out there or whatever, do that. So you won't be fucking stuck. Um, whatever. But um, my trip overall, the ride wasn't that long. I am upset about my furniture, but I'm a boss ass bitch. I'll make it back. And that's an, another thing is my my goal was to start getting on my sewing machine. And I bought so many outfits, and I feel like God was like, nah, bitch. Like you said, you wanted to make some outfits, bitch. Make some outfits, or you just gonna be wasting a whole bunch more money. So hair products, the hair products, the 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 all that shit. I don't really give a fuck about that shit because that shit I would go to the store and buy extra shit anyway. I'm more mad about my dance shoes and my fucking Sephora makeup because that shit wasn't cheap. The rest of that shit kind of replaceable, but it is what it is. Um, I learned my lesson. It was definitely blessings behind that trip because I would definitely go out there by myself. I, the first night I went out, made money. The dude from the after I, he liked me. You know, he kept sending me like, we open tonight. So I got a good connection out there. I didn't make one good connection out there. So, you know, I'm not completely like, the trip was a bust, but it wasn't completely. I gained a lot of blessings from that trip, you know, little small blessings. So, but, um, yeah, so, um, that was, I already told y'all about half my trip, how bad it went. I really didn't do shit. Um, the first night was the best night, the mall. And seeing my aunt, I, I, like I said, I, my aunt was the best part of my trip. I loved my, I always loved my aunt. I always wanted to be just like my aunt when I was a kid. So, you know, she made me happy and, you know, you know, that was that. Um, I, I could not wait to get to Philly. I was so excited to get to Philly. I would never talk shit about Philly again. I feel like Dorothy and this motherfucker. There's no place like home. I wish I could fucking click my heels three times, but bitch, I clicked my fucking car three times and I'm like a fucking made it home. I'm good. And um, shout out to my homie. I don't know if she wants the exposure, but you know who you are. My friend picked me up from um, the train station. And actually, it was, it was a old, kind of somebody I've been to from the past, but we was kind of connecting on, on a bus ride. She's not unfamiliar, but she kind of like we get we getting to know each other. So it was really sweet of her to pick me up from um, the train station, take me home or whatever. I really do appreciate that. It's really the little shit. That counts. But I'm back home, back in effect. Pixie ain't going to stop. 
Um, is this gonna make me? Is this gonna make me better? I ain't gonna lose. I'm just gonna learn. But um, yeah, that's that's kind of how my trip went. Um, no place like home, y'all. Um, there's a whole bunch of gay people out in Atlanta. People that they, they keep saying that you know Atlanta is like southern, like hospitality. They were assholes down there. Um, the lady it was, a, it was, a, it was a homeless lady who was asking me for money. I gave her some money. She was like, that's it. And I was like, you can get my money back. And then I had to pull her aside. I said, listen, let me tell you something. I said, I'm a stripper. I said, sometimes niggas only tip a dollar. Sometimes they only tip two dollars. I said, but by the end of the night, them dollars add up. I said, it's a hustle out here. You got to make your money. So, you know, I'm just like, damn, that was kind of rude. Um, and then, you know, she seen us coming out this mall, the Linux mall, and thought we was balling. But I ain't balling. I ain't got no fucking money. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, and then, like, just the, 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 the bus drivers were rude. And just, just the things that I seen a guy pull out a gun out there my first day. I never seen nobody. I mean, I know Philly rough, and people keep saying Philly rough, but I never seen nobody pull out no gun at the club in Philadelphia. I went out somewhere where it's supposed to be way quote unquote safer and i definitely don't think it's way safer out there i'm gonna keep it all the way of being like maybe it's because it's familiar you know then once i came back and make statuses about my trip everybody's like atl ain't it and everything the hiv rate is high as shit out there so i would never touch nobody out there um all the niggas i mean i'm gay but all the niggas out there is gay and you don't child the best thing about atl to me was the fashion like it's definitely is the clothes is different out there so you're it's definitely easier for you to stand out whereas in philly we all look the same kind of not me but you know a lot of people look the same so it's, it's harder to stand out in philly and when you are out there they kind of got their own little swag or whatever so I, I i can fuck with that but um definitely feeling the philly vibes um I'm good, y'all. And changed my furniture around, and I didn't. I'm, I feel happier, you know. Is this money? Is materialistic shit? I'm safe, so I'm definitely thankful for that. And y'all, just I'm just I just know I'm growing and I'm changing because I y'all see me smiling. I was crying. I was ready to beat that truck up and beat everybody up there yesterday. And today's a new day, and I'm just happy, and um, I'm just grateful, and I'm just thankful, and um, that's that or whatever. But um, anybody who, you know, new, welcome to Pixie's World. Anybody who's been rocking out with me, I really appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And um, I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Happy New Year. I will be making another video very soon. I'll get at y'all on the other side. I love y'all.